This conference will now be recorded. In this video, we will learn how to create supplier, how to create supplier user, and how to convert a prospective supplier to a spend authorized supplier. So first, we will see the ways we can create supplier. So I will go to my login. I can click here on procurement and I can click on suppliers. So before this, I would like to let you know that we need supplier administrator role, supplier channel manager role, and supplier manager role if we want to convert this prospective supplier to spend authorized supplier. So these roles I have assigned to my user. And then I clicked on that supplier link. And then this is the page I can see. From this task button, I can go to this create supplier or register supplier. I have two links. So if I go to the register supplier, I can see that I can sell, I, I can provide the provide all details and I can select it says spend authorized supplier or prospective supplier. If I go to again task and go to this create supplier link. What I can see, I directly create a supplier, but still business relationship. I can see prospective or spend authorized. So it's one and the same thing. First, I create supplier and I will be landed to this register supplier if I provide this detail. The another way, so uh, now we can see that uh, we are aware of this register supplier link and create supplier link. Another way to register a supplier is the external supplier links that we publish on our website. So how we take that in the system, go to this setup and maintenance. Search the task. Go to this task, press the search button. Search link, sorry, and then search the business function. We need to search the procurement business function. So configure procurement business function. I'm going for the US one business unit. I'm just pressing OK. So I can see we have URLs. Perspective supplier registration URLs. If I click on this, I will be landed on a page from where I can register my perspective suppliers. And if I click on this spend authorized supplier link, so this URL will take me to a page from where I can request for the registration of my spend authorized supplier. So I should close this now and this another link as well. So I will just go and use my register supplier link. I can give my test company five. This is the name I have given. I can just select the reason test for demo and i'm selecting us business unit one i'm keeping it a perspective because i will let you know how to convert this perspective to spend authorized even i can select it spend authorized here itself okay prospective supplier i can use in rqs but spend authorized supplier is the supplier which we can use in the purchase orders if it's not a spend authorized we will not be able to use it on purchase orders so I'm just keeping it as a perspective supplier for this demo and organization type. I'm taking as a corporation and the supplier type. I'm taking it supplier tax country. Let me put it as United. United States, that means US taxpayer ID. Let me put any dummy. And now I need to add a contact. And just press this plus button. Okay, Mr. Let me give this name. Last name, let me give testing, making it administrative contact. This you can read, indicate this contact the administrative contact we will be notified for the registration review outcomes. Email, I can give uh, testing for demo at gmail.com any dummy mail uh, create user account see email is required when we create user account that means user account will be created i think this will be taken as a uh, user name testing for demo at gmail.com so these are the 
roles that gets automatically assigned whenever we create a supplier. We can delete any of the role if we don't want to assign to this. And if we want to assign more administrative roles, I can just go to actions and select and add. This is the option. I can select more roles and assign to this supplier. I'm just pressing OK. Now I'm going to create address. Test address seven anything and making it for ordering remit to RFK for bidding. I'm making this address for usage for everything. And now I need to add the contact. If I don't add this contact to this address, this contact will not be available on my purchase order when I select from the LOV that this supplier should have this contact. So I'm just pressing OK. After selecting my user, I'm just pressing OK here itself. And now I need to add product and services. It is mandatory. Let me show you. If I click on this register, it will give me an error message. Oh, no, it's not given. Your registration request was submitted. Let me just see. OK, so I have submitted registration request for a supplier. Let me see the notification. Action required supplier registration request for test company five. Okay, yes, this was my supplier. So if I just click on this notification, and now I can see this actions. I can take multiple action, but now I'm just approving here. Okay, so if I click refresh, anything I can see here? No, nothing. Refresh again. So I need, I received one more notification. You can see earlier it was count as 24, now it's 25. I click here. It is FIA supplier registration request for was approved. Yes, it's notification. And again, if I go to manage suppliers and I search my supplier, it was test supplier five, I think so. Let me see from here. Company five, sorry, it's not supplier five, it's company five. So click here on this company supplier name, test company five. Now I can see a button promote to spend authorized. So we need to click this button to change the status from perspective to spend authorized. So this is the way we need to go to manage suppliers, select the supplier and then press this button. So I'm just putting any comment. I'm selecting this US one business unit and pressing the submit button. Promote to spend authorized. Again, a notification for your approval will come. So I just press the submit button. Your request was submitted. Okay. See the note. You cannot edit this supplier record because a spend authorization request is pending approval. Okay, done. That means I should again receive a notification to approve this. Okay, it is closed. Let me close this form as well. 
anything if I press the refresh button here. Okay, my test company five, this appears here. So if I see any notification, it's the earlier notification. So I need to wait more for this new notification. If I click on home button, See, the status is here pending for approvals. Supply spend authorization request, it's pending for approval. Let's see when we receive that notification. So it's it was quite clear that we have two registration URL links that we can post on our external websites and user can directly click on those and register themselves as a prospective supplier or spend authorized supplier. So Usually we provide this prospective supplier registration URL on our websites. And this is configured in the configure procurement business unit function. Procurement, go to suppliers. Click on this request. It takes some time or on one or two minutes. So again, I click on home icon here. I should receive a notification for this approval. So we are just waiting for this system to respond with a notification that approval is required. Still, we have not received that notification. Yes, we have. So action required, request to approve supplier or spend. So if I click on this notification, I can see that business relationship spend authorized. So proposed value. So if I see any blue dot here, it means that this field is going to be changed. That means this is a proposed value spend authorized. So I'm just going to click on this approve button and now my supplier will be spend authorized. That means I can use this particular supplier on my purchase order. And if I go to this overview page and just again press this refresh button, test company five, which was perspective. Yeah, it's gone now. So it has been approved. So if I go to my manage supplier again and I put it test company five. I get it as a spend authorized. So this was the demo for the supplier creation, their external URLs, the conversion of prospective supplier to my spend authorized supplier. Thanks for watching.